Now that we've familiarised ourselves with the concept of 4D Visi, it's time to walk through the steps involved from starting an application to getting it downloaded onto a 4D display module. Open 4D Workshop and start by creating a new project by selecting File, New. Notice that there's now a 4D Visi program file. Select this and click OK. The Project Properties window will now appear. Choose the specific module for this project and notice you can change the orientation of the simulated screen. This can always be changed at a later time if needed. Take a moment to observe the new environment that 4D Workshop has taken on. In particular, these are the tabs at the top of the screen and the side panel which now contains a simulated display and editable fields below. Adjust the side panel so that the whole simulated screen can be seen. Now draw your attention to the tabs at the top of the screen which contain categories of different graphical objects which will be useful for building your screen display. Let's start by placing an object. Click on the gauges category and click the meter button. Now click your screen and notice that the meter has dropped onto the simulated display and that I can move it into position where I like. Now that I've placed my meter, I want to find the place in my code that I want the meter to appear. See that I can click on paste code and immediately my code is placed into the program where I wanted it to be. This code will need to be pasted anywhere that the meter appears or it needs to be updated with a new value. Let's now look at the editable fields that are listed below the simulated display. Click the drop down box and select form 1 which represents the main background area. See that I can change the colour from black to let's say red. Let's go ahead and change that back to black as that will be the most effective background colour for us to use in this instance. Now that we're happy with the background colour, let's now select the meter from the drop down box. Notice that there's a lot more editable options now. Have a look through these and see what types of things can be changed. I'm happy with how my meter looks for the moment, so let's just go ahead and add some more objects. Click on the digits category and click the first icon. This gives you four seven segment displays by default. Go ahead and change the position of the digits if you like. You may not also want four digits, you may want three or two. Let's go ahead and change it to three and the number of decimal places to one. Since I've changed the number of digits within the same size field, it looks a bit skewed, so let's drag that box out so it looks more in proportion. Now let's drop a button on the screen, position it where you'd like it, and let's look at the editable fields that it has to offer. You can edit things such as the button colour, the font size, the font colour. Have a look through and see for yourself what types of things you can change and customise it to suit your application. I've got enough objects on my screen now, so I want to start focusing on my application program. Let's go back to Form 1. And notice that I can select paste code or paste all code. Let's paste all code. This is all the code for all the objects that I placed on the screen. This technique is useful for when you want all objects to appear at the same time, for example when a new screen is loaded. Most of the time however, you'll only want to paste the code for a particular object at a time, since you'll only want to update that object. Now that my screen is built, I'll need to add control flow operations to the application program. You can see that I'm adding a comment in here, and basically this is representing all the code that I'll add to make my program work. So I've finished my program, and now I'm ready to download it onto a module. Firstly, you need to save your program. I'm going to call mine 4D Visi Tube, for example. This will create both a 4DG file and a 4D Visi file. Be aware that you will need both these files to reopen the project at a later date. The time has now come to download the application program to the module. To do this we need to connect the device to the PC using either the 4D programming cable, micro USB C5 or micro USB MB5. The 4D programming cable is the simplest method to connect your device to the PC. Now that it's connected, select the COM port which is COM4 in this instance and choose between destination RAM or flash and click compile. The prompt has now asked us to load the DAT file and the .gc file onto a microSD before continuing. Place a FAT16 formatted microSD card into the PC and copy these two files onto it. They'll be located in the project folder. Place the microSD back in the module and click download. Watch the application download onto the module and your application is done.